Hey guys, welcome to my web scraping channel and today we're going to extract some data from LinkedIn. LinkedIn data is very useful if you want to build some B2B sales pipeline or do any other fancy things with LinkedIn data. And the best part is that we're not going to write any code today and we're going to put all the data into Google Sheets using Meg.com platform. Meg.com is an amazing alternative to Zapier.com which I just happen to like a bit more. So let's get started. First things first, let's take a look at the API we're going to use today. The API has two endpoints. The first one is search, which allows me to search for a person or just any random word. And uh, so let's try to find Bill Gates. And here is the response of the API. It returns the URL to Bill Gates LinkedIn profile and some snippet and the title. And the second endpoint of the API allows to extract data from this URL. Let's take a look at the response here. And this endpoint, the extract endpoint returns a JSON with three properties and the most interesting one is extractor property which has all the data about the profile in a structured json okay so now let's go to our google sheet i have prepared an empty google sheet here that we are going to use it has four columns and i have filled in on the first column this is uh, basically values we're going to feed into the LinkedIn API to get to resolve the LinkedIn URL of this person. Now let's go to make.com. This is my make.com account and um, I'm going to create a new scenario here. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to open the Google Sheet. So I'm adding the Google Sheet module here in my scenario. And in this Google Sheet, I already have my Google account linked to Meg.com, but you need to link your Google account. So you will be able to read data from your Google account, from your Google Drive. Okay, so I'm now choosing my Google Sheet here, and I'm choosing this sheet name, and just click OK. Let's see what Meg.com is able to retrieve from this Google Sheet. Here's what it returns. And uh, the most interesting part here is this output section. And uh, I like the result here. We're going to use this A column and its data in our process. Okay, now we're adding another module here and we need to make an HTTP request to the API on Rapid API. So I'm searching for make.com HTTP module and I'm going to use this make an API with auth request. Let's add our Rapid API key here. To do this, I go to Rapid API. This code snippets is where I usually get all the useful data. Let's take a look at these headers here. We are going to use them in our make.com request. And I'm copy pasting the key name here. Okay, good. Now we need to set up the URL. and uh, to encode this HTTP query, I'm going to use just plain HTTP syntax. And now um, make sure you choose the right data point from the first step of our scenario, which is uh, this value. Now let's try to launch the HTTP request.
Okay, you see, I got the 422 error code here, and this is okay because we did not specify the required parameter here, which is person. And uh, to add it to our HTTP request, I will just use this syntax. And now I'm trying to launch the query again. Okay, now I see the data is here, but it is not parsed and I cannot use it. So to use it now, I need to turn on this magic radio button and relaunch the module again. And if you see, the font is really small here, um, but the data now is a machine readable data and we need this URL and the snippet here. Perfect, now let's try to add another step here after we got the result, we want to put it back into Google Sheet. So I add another step and I use updated row action. And I am using the same Google Sheet here. Make sure you specify the row number. I'm going to use the wrong number from the first step. And we want to put, to populate the LinkedIn URL, which is a big column, name and snippet. I go to this HTTP data, open it, click the URL here, click the title here and save it like this. Now let's try to run it, the whole scenario. This is how it works. It just iterates over each row and completes the HTTP request and populates the data here. Now let's say we want to add another data point here. Uh, but uh, if scenario is run every 15 minutes, we obviously don't want it to iterate over the same columns we, which were already processed again. And we only want it to go over the new columns, right? And for this, I'm going to use the search module filter here. So I want to tell may.com that if the LinkedIn URL exists, I mean, does not exist because we want the column to be empty, then run our scenario on this row. Now let's try to run the module again. And we can check how many bundles were processed here. And you see, this is just one row, which is good. Okay, this is the very basic setup. You can do a lot of interesting things here. For example, we can use another uh, call, another API call here to extract data from this URL that we just got. And for example, we can use some AI, some GPT to generate a personalized outreach letter to this person. A lot of things can be done, but this is a good topic for another video. So thank you for watching and bye bye.